A lot of people think about abundance in a very selfish or me-centered perspective, and I think that's fine to a point, but what we really need to realize is that abundance only happens when people are generous, right? So there is, there are resources, right? I'm connected to source God and God is the ultimate source. And so he gives me the resources I need, right? But he never wanted me to create or have the things that I need and want just for myself. The only way to create abundance is by being generous. Some people think it's antithetical. Some people think it's antithetical to be generous and abundant at the same time because the more generous you are, the more you lose. But the truth is, is that when you are, when you are generous, you are creating the abundance that you want in your life and other people's lives as well. So I like to use this example of water, right? When we think of water standing, you think of mosquitoes, you think of algae, things not really growing, breeding, living in that water. But when you think of a river, when it's flowing, when it's sharing, when it's flowing from us so to another source, you think about the life that is teeming in that river. You think about how other animals come to that river to, to drink water, to, be, to have their thirst, thirst quenched, right? But if that water was standing, animals might not be so, you know, willing to drink that water and, you know, wise animals, right? Because they might get sick. So it's the same way when I think about resources, when people hoard money, hoard finances, wealth, food, all these things, information, it's yuck. Like it feels gross. It feels stuffy. Like you think about someone's home and how they're hoarding all these things and not sharing them and they just collect in dust, right? They're just collecting dust. They're just taking up space. And this person is really trapped in this cell, in this jail cell of things, of things that they they've acquired or things they think they need for the future or things they're afraid of letting go of, right? And so it's not a pretty picture when these things are happening. It's the same thing with ourselves, with our lives, with our own generosity, the information we have, the wealth, the resources, the understanding, the love, right? The time, the energy. The more that we share these things, the more abundance we create in our own lives and the lives of others. So it is antithetical to be selfish and abundant at the same time. Abundance is not just about you, it's not just about me, it's about our ecosystem living and thriving together. I got some criticism about how, you know, we have to compete in this world that we live in in order to thrive and to, and to do well. And you know, kind of, sort of, but I disagree. I think that we are capable and able to create the lives and the ecosystems and the communities that we actually want to live in. And the only way to do that is by being generous, is by seeking abundance through generosity. A lot of people seek abundance in which some people lose, in which some people miss out on. And I don't think that is what abundance is. I don't think abundant leaves anybody without. If anything, abundance creates better ways, systems, um, resources for other people that are around us as well. So if you're the only one thriving and everyone around you is suffering, are you really abundant? Is that really abundance or is that hoarding? I think a lot of us are seek seeking hoarding. Like we're trying to find all the ways that we can take care of ourselves without worrying about our fellow man. But how I, how I think is that if I'm abundant, everyone around me should be abundant as well. If I have resources, they shouldn't be able to go without. If I have information, I'm sharing that stuff because it creates the ecosystem, the water, the river that I want to flow from, the river that I want to create, the river that I want to you know, create for other people as well so they can come and sup, so they can come and rest, so they can come and drink. But if I'm hoarding all that water, all it is is creating standing water, which has no nutrition, no oxygen, no air. Like everybody's trying to avoid that thing right and it's a cesspool for bitterness for selfishness for you know lack like the mosquitoes right the mosquitoes that are literally sucking the life out of you that's what standing water creates and I don't want to be standing water and I don't want you to be standing water either and a wonderful benefit of being generous is that people will be generous with you as well. So if I am sharing all of my resources, all of my wealth, the hope is that other people are generous too if I'm, if I'm attracting the people like me. And so if I am ever in need or if I'm going without, other people will step in and help me, but they won't help me if I was selfish. They won't help me if I didn't help them. You know, like I wanna create a symbiotic relationship with other people in which, you know, you, you might be growing a crop of corn, I might be growing a crop of okra or whatever else, and we can come to the table and bring all our resources together so we can all share, so we can all eat, so we can all win. So yes, if you're looking for abundance, if you're looking for more, if you're looking to feel fulfilled, if you're looking to feel infinite, the only way to do that is by serving other people, is by being generous. That's the only way. When you are being generous, when you are serving other people, you will have what you need when you need it. We need to stop worrying about, oh, what am I gonna miss out on? You know, If I share this thing, I'm not gonna get it back. Well, who's gonna take care of me? First of all, God is gonna take care of you, but also the people that you're taking care of will give back to you. They might not be able to give back to you the same exact thing you gave to them, but they'll give back to you in joy and resources and wealth and energy and time and love. And so that is the only way to create abundance. The only way to create abundance in our life 
is by being generous and generosity creates abundance. So if you resonate with this, if you understand me, if you feel me on this, and even if you're struggling with it, because we're all struggling with it, right? We're all struggling with unlearning scarcity. If you feel anything from this video, let me know, leave a comment below. How are you gonna be generous? How can you commit to being generous to the people around you, to yourself and to the world at large? I would love to hear and I will talk to you all in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, check out the last video I did on how black women are not my competition, but my community. Hope that you enjoy, talk to you later, bye-bye.